Hello everyone, this is Rick with Cybermedics and we're here today to talk about Proton Mail. So let's get started. In particular, we're going to discuss how to add two-factor authentication and address the issue how to remove two-factor authentication if you've lost your security key with YubiKey. So let's walk through the process. Here we're going settings, go to settings. And over here on the left, you're going to go account and password. You're going to say turn on two-factor authentication. Next. And we have downloaded the Yubico Authenticator application. I'm going to delete this because this was a previous install of ProtonMail. I'm going to delete this one too just so we don't get confused. All right, so now it's going to say enter the key manually or scan the code. The easiest thing to do here is to scan the code. I just want to show you this key because it's a good idea to copy this and put it somewhere where you could ex access it later if you needed to. So let's go ahead and just run Notepad. That way we can paste everything into Notepad there. There you go. There's the, there's the actual key. And let's go ahead and do the scan QR code. And over here, we can click here and say scan QR code. And it, you see it already calls up the email address, the issuer, and you just say add the account. And it's really that simple. I mean, now we will go here. Now they're, gonna, they're going to verify your account. and make sure the two factor is working okay so over here you just double click that touch your key and the six digit code has been copied to the clipboard you can just paste that and submit And this is critically important here. These are backup codes. Now we're going to copy these and then we're going to put those into the notepad that we opened earlier. And I highly recommend that you download these and save them somewhere. Because one of our users commented that they lost their key and they wanted to know how to cancel the two factor authentication. So we're going to walk you through that process. And you say OK here. All right. So now we've got two factor authentication. Let's go ahead and sign out. And we'll go through the process real quick just to show you how that works. And we'll click here. Now we'll have to enter a code. So we'll come over and get the app, the Authenticator app. We'll double click that. It'll say touch the key. It'll generate the code. It's actually on the clipboard so we can just paste the code and say Authenticate. Pretty simple, huh? So there it goes. It's authenticating. All right. Now, Here's the scenario that one of our subscribers ran into. They lost their security key and they wanted to know, so you, we went to settings, click on settings, go to account and password, and they wanted to know how to turn this all off, and we say yes, when they did not have the key. So. Right now, here's a two-factor authentication key that it's going to ask you to enter. If you don't have the key, you would not be able to activate this authenticator application to get the, the correct code. So, what do you do? Well, what you do is you come down here 
to the codes that you had previously created and copy one of those and then come back in to here and paste it. Let's try that again. Okay. And then say submit. And you see that code deactivated the second factor authentication. So it's no longer there. Even though you lost the key, which meant that you could not launch this app and get to this six digit code, you could turn off the two factor authentication by having one of the backup codes. So if you save those backup codes, you can actually go in and, act and deactivate the two factor authentication. All right, I hope this helps. Really appreciate the feedback and comments. If you guys have any questions, please post them below. Hope you will consider subscribing and have a great and wonderful hack-free day.